being taken very seriously by the Metropolitan Police. The, the timing of this announcement actually is extraordinary in itself. I was expecting that I might have to talk to you this hour because as we speak, Russell Brand has gone on taken very seriously by the Metropolitan Police the, to his uh, the video sharing platform uh, Rumble. We knew that he was going to be making a, a speech at five o'clock tonight uh, and talking about various things in a video that uh, is called Are We Being Silenced? That's happening at the moment. But look, 20 minutes ago, the Metropolitan Police issued this statement updating people on exactly uh, where they're at. And they've said that detectives have now launched an investigation into allegations of sexual offences. So they've said following uh, the reporting that went on in the Dispatches documentary and the Sunday Times, they said that they have received a number of allegations of sexual offences in London. Not only that, they've also received a, a number of allegations of sexual offences committed elsewhere in the country is what they've put in their statement. And they've said they will be investigating these. Uh, they've said the offences are all not recent. Uh, and they've said that the officers will be offering uh, specialist support to all of the women who have come forward and made allegations to them. They've also uh, put out an appeal basically for anyone that they say may, may feel like they've been a victim of a sexual offence, no matter how long ago it was, to get in touch with them. It's clearly, they are taking this incredibly seriously. Again, I mean, it is just the timing of this that is quite interesting in itself. At the same time as Russell Brand is putting out uh, a video to his 1.6 million followers on Rumble, the only platform that is still providing him with uh, money to make these broadcasts. Uh, at the same time, we get this announcement from the Metropolitan Police. So clearly they are going to be looking further into the claims that Russell Brand is facing, which he vehemently denies. Just to be clear, I was going to make that point that the allegations certainly that were reported in the newspaper and on television, he has vehemently denied and said that um, these were consensual. Um, the police statement, though, seems to suggest there are more allegations that have come in uh, following those uh, reported ones. By the sound of what they put in this statement, that, that sounds to be correct. Certainly of the ones that were UK-based in the, the initial reporting that went out in Dispatches and the Times, they were uh, London-based. It's this new line that we have in the, the statement that the Metropolitan Police have put out, saying that they believe uh, that they've received a number of allegations of sexual offences committed elsewhere in the country. So I think that that is the, the new line that we're hearing tonight, then. Right, and just this uh, line also, Detective Superintendent, just to reiterate, we continue... Uh, Detective Superintendent Andy Furphy, it is actually, who is uh, going to lead this. We continue to encourage anyone who believes that they may have been a victim of sexual offence, no matter how long ago, to contact us. We understand it can feel like a difficult step to take, and I want to reassure that we have a team of specialist officers available to advise and support. So dealing there, Katie, with, you know, situations like this when women have been, you know, unwilling or reluctant to come forward for, 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 for reasons that, you know, they have said re relates to whether they'll be, get a fair hearing. Yeah, and there are a lot of uh, reasons why women, of course, don't choose to come forward to the police. And I think uh, the journalists that are at the heart of this initial investigation have said that a lot of these women felt that they wouldn't have been uh, taken seriously or, or trusted the police initially to, to tell their story. So that's why they went to the newspapers first. But clearly, uh, I think the, the reaction that that initial reporting has had from certainly members of the public, from certainly people that have felt the need to get to his uh, the video sharing platform, uh, Rumble, we knew that he was going to be making a, a speech at five o'clock tonight uh, and talking about various things in a video that uh, is called Are We Being Silenced? That's happening at the moment. But look, 20 minutes ago, the Metropolitan Police issued this statement updating people on exactly uh, where they're at. And they've said that detectives have now launched an investigation into allegations of sexual offences. So they've said following uh, the reporting that went on in the Dispatches documentary and the Sunday Times, they said that they have received a number of allegations of sexual offences in London. Not only that, they've also received a, a number of allegations of sexual offences committed elsewhere in the country is what they've put in their statement. And they've said... They will be investigating these. Uh, they've said the offences are all not recent, uh, and they've said that the officers in touch with the police now uh, in touch. With